one of the things that we figured out in our older age was what a joy it is to have new recordings that really suit the material and that really is important I think to help in the sound side be as authentic as the picture side can be and sort of period sounds to go with period images and I think that's really a crucial you know linkage and it is really kind of a joy to go out and record stuff that really fits the the movie but I also don't think it's um and by virtue of that I think the idea of having a library is kind of a unnecessary really and of course all the people I work with they all we all gather this material and we keep it all preciously guarded but um I think really the uh, most of it comes out of the camera like No Country for instance is almost entirely filled with production sound an amazing amount of sound effects and footsteps and stuff was recorded by Peter Curley on location. Uh, and nothing sounds as much authentic as the real stuff that's shot on location. So. We had done pre-records. So we had um, guitar and singing for, I think, probably for everything. And we were able to, from those, we basically all voted the ideal thing would be to have these tiny earwigs that slip into the performer's ear. And you basically do it on the ear away from camera, you know. So even if it was, they're not visible, but even if you happen to be sticking out, you wouldn't see them. And we all agreed the thing to give them in the ear was the guitar so they would have pitch and tempo. So that way they could play along. And the guitar in many scenes, although the very opening scene is just Oscar and the guitar, straight up one microphone, as raw as it could be, it's fantastic. Uh, 